Christabel falls under the spell of Vampire Geraldine, who inevitably has her horrid way. Samuel Taylor Coleridge wrote his dark, sexy epic, Christabel, in 1797, a hundred years before Bram Stoker's Dracula and 19 years before Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Coleridge's story is ripe for a modern screenplay with strong female leads, Christabel, who may be and naive or rebellious and cunning, and Geraldine, who may be a vampire, or a misunderstood lesbian, or both. Christabel, who is haunted by the memory of her mother, defiant with her father, and engaged to an absent soldier, comes to the aid of Geraldine, an apparent rape victim, takes her home, and hides her in her father's mansion. But then, under Geraldine's magic charm, Christabel's sympathy progresses to compulsion, then to subjugation. In 1797, Coleridge wrote a very explicit sex horror scene, even by today's standards, where Christabel finds herself helplessly in bed with her seductress. Soon, the deceiver ingratiates herself to her father, and implications escalate. Christabel struggles with Geraldine's control and with her own guilt. I'm Albert Silas, composer of Christabel Rhapsody for Violin and Orchestra, which has won nine Best Film Score Awards at 2022 and 2023 International Film Festivals, and a dozen other nominations or selections. I hope this story and the music inspires the creation of a compelling film.